Hey, hey folks, this is Tradidix AI. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use our options ticker dashboard to do your research about a company engage investor sentiment. Options dashboard looks at options flow for each ticker and shows the essence of it in the form of different widgets. Our goal is to help retail traders make informed decisions by following where smart money is being spent. Looking at options flow is a great way to achieve that. The example we will be going through is Tesla. Let's go. On the top, we have some aggregated statistics on how the options flow has been for the stock today. We have the overall flow which indicates whether more money is being spent on calls or puts. Next up, we have net premiums, call to put ratio, and the change in stock price today. To make it easy to see intraday price movements, we next have an intraday 1 minute price chart. Next comes information about open interest. OI is the total number of open contracts in the market right now. Greater open interest on either side can somewhat predict investors' sentiment. For instance, if open interest for calls keeps increasing while OI for puts decrease, that is a bullish sign. When analyzing options flow, it is important to compare it with historical data to understand whether today's flow is different or not. This is why you will see historical stats with a lot of our widgets here. Let us now move towards volume and premiums for calls and puts. These four charts explain where most of the money is being spent right now. If we have a bullish outlook, we would want to see higher amounts being spent on calls. The opposite is true for puts. Again, we always need to look at historical data while analyzing options flow. It can provide us great insights as to how unusual today's flow is. Next, we have a slightly complex widget which is called Max Pain. Max Pain is the strike price that will cause the most pain to options buyers. Most of the option contracts are sold by market makers. Therefore, they want to make sure that buyers lose money and the contracts expire worthless. This widget helps you visualize the price where market makers would want to move the price in order to garner most profits and cause most pain to buyers. Please note that the max pain theory does not always work. As you can see here, there is no single max pain price. When looking at options flow, it is important to look at the expiration and the strike prices. If a large amount of money is being spent on a short-term expiration but a far out of the money strike price, that can often indicate that a large move might happen soon. Similarly, if most of the premiums are spent on long-term expirations, that might mean investors are bullish long-term. Once you are a bit comfortable with analyzing options flow, you will be able to learn several patterns like these. Next two widgets show you the highest premium trades and the most unusual trades. We consider a trade unusual if volume is much higher than open interest. That can sometimes indicate some insider information because investors are willing to sacrifice any liquidity because they are confident of a large move coming soon. Finally, we sum everything up in an options heat map table. This table shows you the total amount of money being spent on each options contract today. You can see here that most of the money today is being spent on calls, which indicates bullish sentiment. One final note that we want to emphasize again. Analyzing options flow is more of an art than a science. Please always couple the flow with price action in your own judgment. That will yield the best performance. That is it folks. We hope you have learned more about our options dashboard after watching this video.